Candace Owens presses destiny for being a 35-year-old man and promoting degeneracy to his viewers. Just what the video. You're 30. How old Five. are you? You're 35 years old. Yep. Okay, so what what are you what is that? What do you what do I do? Like if you were 20 well, let's and say you I'm were a saying this stuff. millionaire. I travel the world. I get to research and talk about whatever I, I get, want. I get to yeah. talk cool people like you and other people. I get to, I live in Miami in a high rise for 5,000 a month. I mean, I, I think my life is pretty okay. I mean, okay. what do you. But no, but I'm saying like, what are you doing when you're trying to sell to people that, you know, being a hoe is cool, smoking pot, saying I don't like, necessarily think that being a hoe is cool. Are you, like, you going to age out of that? What like, I try, what I Because you're, thir- you're a 35 year old man, right? Like, you know, and you're, you're, yep. you're kind of doing the like, I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a 35 year old man mm-hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, it, I, like I, I said, if you were 20, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're 35, mm-hmm. You know, say things with conviction. Say I'd things say that have meaning. Say plenty of things with conviction. Yes. You know, and like when I asked you, what would you recommend to a woman at twenty-five and thirty? I didn't just start rambling about what a twenty-year-old should do and how biological, blah 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 blah. I would say exactly what I would tell a woman at twenty-five. Or yeah, 30. I know, but your behavior and 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 I will appreciate that people that are younger d- won't understand what I'm saying until you hit thirty-five, which mm-hmm. is I'm I'm gonna be thirty-five this year. Okay. You're acting like you're a college dorm kid. Yeah, and your catty insults towards people online make you seem like a high school mean girl. Okay. I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, we all have our, our things. But you're like... selling to them things that you know aren't good. So what, what do you think I, I'm so selling if you, to them? If you, what do you were think I'm a 25 year old, like when I'm on the whatever podcast and I'm yeah. surrounded by women that are in their 20s mm-hmm. and they're saying like, you know, the whole life is good. The reason why I said to that girl that I'm going to pray for you is because I know that she's going to have a different perspective when she's older. So I don't, I'm not upset by that. I don't feel like that needs to be attacked when that woman, when that young, when those young girls are around me and we're talking about all of these topics when i'm sitting with a 35 year old man okay and what do you, you think i'm and, selling and, people and you know better okay wait, wait, what do you think i'm selling people well do you like think I said, people like, to be a hoe? what i said when you were defending the lifestyle of being a hoe why are you doing that i don't think i defend the lifestyle of being you a hoe. did you did a whole video basically saying that none of my points of me trying to tell these women that they essentially you can do something better you don't have to sell your body this was your like snazzy video comeback to it. Why are you making a comeback? Yes, you can make a video and be like, why can't someone do heroin? But why would you as a 35 year old man want to sell something to someone or make it seem okay or cool or relevant when you know it's harmful to them? I don't get that because of your age. So, yes, I, kind of I don't tell people things. that they have to do a particular thing. But if I see somebody that's, do. that's doing heroin, I'm not going to be like, you know, it is whatever. And it's just like, whatever. You're just, do you think that doing, heroin is comparable to recreational I, I, sex? I, I am. I am. Quite frankly, I actually think a woman as the one that I sat across from when you were critiquing this video who says that she slept with up to what was it 20 men per night yeah it's just as bad and i know that that has to be hurting her soul so i look at her as a human being hurting her and, soul what yeah. if she just has a different lifestyle she than doesn't. you completely she no does, she does you know she, no she ha- what do you mean you know she's she's telling you she was very honest actually and that's why i appreciate her because she was very honest that for her it is just about money okay but when i see that individual when a young woman is saying that she'll sleep and see up to 10 to 20 clients per night that's a broken individual. And it's just as, it's and just when, you, just as when you see why? somebody who says that, you know, they're doing heroin or doing this, they don't need the guy, the cool guy at the party to be like, yeah, man, it's whatever. Like, it's, it's like, no, you actually like structure. You need somebody to say to you, you don't have to do this. There, you, there's so much better potential within you. You are young. You have your entire life ahead of you. Let's figure out what it is that you're great at. I understand the economic concerns. It's a really tough economy and it's easy money. But there's other things that you can do to make money that will give you better self-value. And so that's why I say that I think that what you're doing as a 35-year-old man is you're, you're lying. You're just lying. For the past few months, every time I see Candace Owens on social media, she's saying something I completely agree to. I'm sure she's also said some things I don't agree with. But I haven't seen those as of yet. She's really been cooking. This is the first time Destiny has had a woman do any kind of cooking in his home. I mean, how can you expect a woman to cook for you when you are completely okay with other men sleeping with your wife? The sad thing is, how these streamers cater to kids. So while she's spitting facts, the kids in the chat are booing her and want more bullshit to be sold to them. This is why it's very important for parents to be very present in their children's life because of the type of content they consume. If you are able to implement what's right and what's wrong in your child, it really don't matter what type of content they consume. He or she can think for themselves and make the right choices. Degenerate behavior reflects poor character and immaturity. It is not okay regardless of your financial status or level of influence. You gotta grow up and do better. We all gotta create positive contributions, promote good behavior, and debunk bad behavior. Our society needs strong men.
not delusional, immature, insecure men. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.